You boys look like a weird heavy metal band. <laughs> yes, we are a band. Really? Yeah. So what do you play? Symphonic, post-apocalyptic, reindeer grinding, Christ abusing, extreme war, pagan, fennoscandic metal. Right. Really interesting. <laughs> What up, everyone? DJ Nubis. And DJ Neko. Here with you on the Mel Time Radio Podcast, doing another trailer reaction. Look, see, I got the smile. The smile. <laughs> Getting ready to do 2024's Joker. I don't even know how would you even say that name. Full ado. Yeah. I just or call it Joker, fo too. Full ado. Full ado. I, I'm, not, I'm not very good with French, but I know it means like act two or oh, okay. something like that. Ado. So maybe it's like, did you a do? I don't lose fully. I don't know. The only French words I know are ballet steps. But uh, it's directed by Todd Phillips. Uh, the plot doesn't really give me much. It just says it's a sequel to the first one, <laughs> which, you know, obviously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we kind of knew going in this, it, there were some musical parts to it. And part of that is because we have Lady Gaga, Gaga who's playing Harley Quinn in this. We also have uh, returning as Welcome Phoenix playing the Joker, and then Brendan Gleeson and Steve Coogan are also in this film. So let's uh, let's give it a whirl, man, because uh, I enjoyed the first one. Do you remember the first film? Yes, it's very dark. It was, it was very dark, very sad. You know, talking about bullying and mistreating mental health, of course, was a big thing. And then, of course, the scene with uh, Robert De Niro at the end when he's on, yeah, when he's on the talk show, that mm -hmm. was fucking crazy. I was not expecting that. Sorry, spoiler alert. It's been out yeah. a little while. Yeah. All right. So let's check out uh, Joker 2. Let's go, boys. Show of hands. Wakey, wakey. Hey, Fleck, you got a joke for us today? We use music to make us whole to balance the fractures within ourselves. I'm nobody. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. interesting because i know this is a whole reimagining of like what joker and who joker is and that's it's got to be a reimagining because like harley quinn was 
a psychiatrist right. who worked in Arkham Asylum. It's like a different universe. So it, I, that's what I'm wondering if that they're just like doing a whole reimagining of her because they have her in there as a p prisoner, convict, mental patient. I don't know like exactly where he is. It's, well, yeah, it, is it Arkham Asylum or is he in prison? I'm assuming it's Arkham because they can have co-ed people there in Arkham. So, so that's what I'm wondering. Like, are they not going to go with the the angle of like, you know, she fell for him while she was treating him? Yeah, it looks like they're both going to be inmates of sorts mm -hmm. and just kind of gravitate towards one another. And I mean, the funny thing is, like, it depends how much music's actually throughout this will de determine whether or not I can accept it. You know, like, I like the first one. And this one, the music choices sound fine. And I like the scene where they're dancing and whatnot. I'm wondering if a lot of the musical kind of stuff, because they're both insane, happens in their head. True. Because you saw, like, they were dancing in the middle of the street. But then, like, the scene that was kind of flashing was them dancing all dressed up at a ball. Right. So and, I'm and wondering. Some people get kind of angry about the musical aspect. But if you really think about it, like, there was a moment in Burton's Batman where the Joker was playing music while he was spray painting the arts and... the the entire um soundtrack was done by prince yeah like versus batman was very special like yeah. without and i don't think i mean i was a kid 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 when it came out i was like what nine maybe um <clears throat> excuse me uh i don't think a lot of people appreciate what that batman did for marvel movies for superhero movies going forward like we had we had, you know, the Superman movies in the 80s and we had Batman, but that Batman movie was such a blockbuster and then followed up with Batman Returns, which was another one that was amazing in its own right. That just kind of started elevating like, OK, we're going to really and it opened the door for what we've seen now. And now we're <sighs> fuck, I'm old. Now we're 30 some years into the future and we're able to continue these stories, these beloved characters, not just Batman, not just Joker, not, but every Marvel character, every DC character that, you know, Harley Quinn wasn't even invented when the Tim Burton Batman came yeah, out. It was the animated, it was the animated yeah. series that came out after it was in the early 90s when the animated series came out and i i watched it then and that's when you know we watched the new animated series which was hysterical right but that outfit she wore at the beginning where it's like the full leggings and like with the jester hat and everything that was what she wore in that yeah and that's how that came about so i mean i I'm going to see this regardless because I love Lady Gaga. We well, love Lady Gaga is a good actress. Like she's kind of impressed me a lot. Like you again, loved her in the Gucci movie. You loved her in a star is born. Yeah, like yeah, she can act like I don't care about the music all that much. I mean, she's a great singer, but I'm not really into that stuff like you are. But as far as acting, I appreciate a good singer and she's yeah. a great singer. And so, I mean, if they're going to do songs in here, but she's playing piano at one point. So and she's a great musician, too. I don't know if you've ever seen her um, when she did her album with tony bennett like she's she's not just like you know mother monster with all her like pop music she's very she's a musician and i think she just goes with what you know brings the popularity and but when she does things like her album with tony and she she struck up a friendship with him and they they were both very admirable of each other you start seeing like her range you see her in a star is born you know now we've got Four versions of a star is born right like all four very 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 different that kind of capture those decades but i i i will see this even if it well, i like the first one enough that i would see this and like i said i like the cast um and we love our little secret i like, wonder though theater like, that we go to kind of like gritty this one is if it's going to tie into the batman with robert pattinson at all because it has that same kind of vibe in terms of the atmosphere and aesthetics. yeah because that the batman is its own batman just like the dark right. knight series was its own series right. but they still pull like your favorite characters yeah but dc has only been able to really pull off 
Batman movies recently. Like even when they try to like cross over and they do the Justice League, like yeah, you have tough. <laughs> you have all these amazing characters. I can't remember like. I mean, I know, I know, we liked the Suicide Squad, but I think I've watched it once. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Like, it's it's the jokes will only hit you that first time. Mm -hmm. like, it's it's going to be hard to repeat that. Now, what it did do was spawn the Peacemaker, which was amazing, which was series. funny too, yeah. and it was a good series. It was yeah. a good series. So I'm hoping maybe this could be like another angle that DC is trying to do. And I know like the first just Suicide Squad, we were sorely disappointed. Yeah, that because so much better. I from what I heard and just like rumors and stuff, they were saying, you know, they saw the success of Deadpool. And when Deadpool was doing well, they wanted to kind of go on a more Deadpool. But you could tell how forced the jokes were. Yeah. And then it made the movie like three hours long and it was just not that yeah they great. really just screwed it all up i mean you did get a great margot ropey who did a great job with the character but it is different than what gaga is going to be portraying mm -hmm. so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out uh we'll definitely catch this i don't mm -hmm. know when but obviously if the the way movies are right now there hasn't been a, like a lot of choice so if this is something that's out and there's not a lot else going on we probably will go out to the go theater to our and check. Theater. yeah we're gonna have to find a new secret theater when we move yeah i tried to look at the locations for vets and everything else so. it's really funny because our secret theater is not a secret it's been there forever just it's no one really goes just like in a really random remote uh strip mall next to a grocery store and like it shares a parking lot with a car dealership and a chicken place I mean, goodwill too and goodwill so it's like a really random and everybody always goes for these big 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 because there's a couple of very large like mega cineplex places well this place that we went we go to they remodeled everything they got the recliners they've got you know, they do this popcorn deal where you buy a, a bucket every year and you can get it refilled for like five bucks. I mean, and it's, I think, much cleaner and nicer than the mega Cineplex places. Mm -hmm. And it's cheaper, especially if you go on Tuesdays. So, like, I don't know. Don't discount your smaller. You don't have to go to AMC. Yeah, you don't have to go to AMC. You can go to this is called Flagship and there's not a ton of them out there. So two thumbs up for Flagship. They have made everything very easy and they keep it clean and they've they make their own popcorn amc does not make their own popcorn they ship it in so so yeah let us know your thoughts yes. in the comment section what do you think about this did you enjoy the first film uh do you have hopes for this one give us your comments if you enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe to the likes. channel I go topless. She's gonna keep pushing until it happens and then when it happens you guys will be really sorry <laughs> Anyway, thanks for checking out this trailer reaction. We'll see you next time on the Metal Town Ray mm -hmm. Podcast. Peace.